So as you guys know, we already got our spot. We just moved in. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff all over the place. But we were so excited that we had to show you before we we're fully <laughs> moving. Are you having a disco party it's over like there? We can't even wait. So it's like we just have to show them. Is that the Stranger Things? Will? Will? Will! Do you guys watch Stranger Things on Netflix? Well, anyways, keep on coming. This is our new place. All right, so you guys just walked in through the gate. Wait, wait, wait. We are skipping the... So you can tell who doesn't do chores here. I do all the chores. So what I was going to say is right here is the laundry room. So this is the laundry room that he's skipping. What's in here before even looking? What's in here? All right. I'm not even going to look. Don't look. Washer. Dryer. Pine saw. Cleaning agents. We'll water on the floor. Specific. Water on the floor. What? And then what else? You got the stuff that goes the tss and the tss, and you got the stuff that goes like whoo, 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 whoo. Anyway. Well, yes. What's really cool about this apartment is that it comes with its little washing room, which is really super cool. Because as you can see, you walk through the door, washing room, washer, dryer here, so it's super loud. So it has this door that we cannot close because we have bottles of water here. Because someone didn't organize it correctly where we can't close the door. No, where am I supposed to put it? On the freaking thing. Exactly. Anyway, so yeah, we. what's cool and what's kind of not so cool about this place is that we moved from a semi-bigger, more spacious place to a little bit more compact, cooler place. So because of that, we have to put some really random objects in this room because I just don't know where the hell else to, to put them. And that's kind of be the, that, that's going to be the theme of the rest of our crib. So, super cool room, uh, dog bowl, dog water, dog food, vacuum, random uh, trash can. We're still working on it. I got 90% of all that stuff right. Well, I mean, you can't go too wrong. I just wanted exactly. you to be specific. Exactly. Move it on over. So, like Gio said, the theme of this place is compromise because when you're moving from the suburbs into the city, that's what you're giving up is space, but... I'm gaining a lot though. You're gonna sip on dog food. It. Wait for it. Keep on coming. So yeah, we're still kind of trying to figure this area out too. The dogs, we put food in their bowl and then they like to do this thing. And they scoop it out. So we don't give them more food until they... So if you look down here, <laughs> there's just random food on the floor. And then sometimes you step on it and it makes... Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Why are you doing that? It's a crunchy sound. But if you keep coming, one of the cool things about city living is they like to build in a lot of, they build in a lot of built-in storage. Nah, they don't really build in a lot of built-in storage. What do they do? Where it's needed. They, they do have it here, but I don't need it here. I need it in my freaking room. But anyways, we have a little office. We don't need a desk. So it's like a little community office space, which is cool. As you can see, it's still storage. I got <laughs> gun boxes, random records. What's in here? Ammunition. We have uh, linens in here and towels. What the fuck? Why are there two? What? I don't even know why there's towels there. Who put it there then? Those might be Nadim's. Um, and then uh, we try to be organized. Uncle Nadim got the dog's bones that they keep uh, fighting over, but they love it. But secretly, Nadim is the one that's eating them. <laughs> but you you keep hear him growling? Keep coming in. Oh, we got this little guy. Not because we have a kid that we want to prevent from going down the hallway. It's because we've got dogs that we want to prevent from barking and disturbing our neighbors. That's kind of the reason why we were whispering earlier is because all the doors are really close. Yes, once you come into the units, it gets pretty spacious and big, but because we are city living, we do want to be mindful of our neighbors, so we try our best to not disturb anyone. Yeah, we don't want to be those guys. But if you come on over here, this is what I think city living is really about. It's just the massive, massive, vast views of the city. And what's really cool, you don't see this right now, but if you come on the weekends to our place, the Staples Center is fully lit up. Just a few days ago, there was a Drake and Future concert. The Emmys was held here, and it's popping and it's live. And, and the Microsoft Center, right over there, where you see it right on the top. And this type of view and feeling, it's, this is the reason why we gave up the space in the suburbs so that we can have this amazing view. And when we first started looking for a place where I was telling Gio, which I also told you guys in another vlog, 
I want it to feel like the little Alhambra girl <laughs> that is moving into the big city. You gotta show them what you did in that room though. Which room? In that room. Over here? Yeah, what you felt like. So when we first came in, this is our living room by the way. I first came in and I was like, oh my god, this is the fucking downtown LA. Oh my god. You were spinning. You were spinning. Fucking <laughs> hit the fucking streets <laughs> and go. And uh was not funny? Cause you're like, you're you, you're like this massive piece of muscle and then you're like so dainty. Anyway, go. So this is our living room. And not yet done too. Not yet done. You'll see in the vlogs during the daytime, but we wanted to give you guys a night tour so that you can kind of mm -hmm. see everything that's going on. You can see the 10 freeway, the 110 freeway. The 10 freeway is actually an interstate freeway. So that's the one that goes from the west coast all the way up to and the east coast. Way. And uh, this is our yeah. very, very if, amazing view. If we only have one, two, two walls, like two and a half walls to really work with in this like area, because like that, this, this, and that, it's all glass, baby. The beautiful thing glass, about it, baby. the beautiful thing about this is although this window is technically a wall, when you're sitting here, it doesn't feel enclosed. Like it feels very spacious just because of the glass effect. And when we're out on the street, we can see our entire room lit up if we leave the lights on, which is super cool. And one other cool thing is because this place is so fucking swagalicious, our IKEA furniture. <laughs> I know it went up and back. Our IKEA furniture doesn't even look like IKEA furniture anymore, and this shit looks all of a sudden like five times more expensive. But you can <laughs> get this the shit same at IKEA. Shit. <laughs> We're still missing a rug here. We got rid of the other rug because the dogs tore that shit up. Cause not that not because they bit it, but because they lick and they eat stuff on it. I don't know what they're eating, or maybe they're chewing a bone and they lick it and they walk and it just collects all this dirt. So it looked all brown. So I'm like, I'm getting rid of that. So we need rug and coffee table. I don't know what else we need here. We need to get rid of that. We're but, still still got boxes of stuff. Yeah, I think I think like these walls just kind of decorate themselves because you have all these like beautiful lights all over. It's like why would you want to put anything else here? Yeah, it looks super dope. If you come on over here, this is our bedroom. That looks exactly. Oh, but these guys were in it. And our furry creature children are in here. So once again, <laughs> we just moved in our IKEA furniture, and it looks like it mat. Oh my God, almost fell over. And it looks like it just matches, so it feels really cool. Like one thing, if I had to explain or kind of describe how living in this space feels like, it feels like you're living in a hotel, but it's your own room, yes. and you're on permanent vacation. It's so cool. Like it, we, me and Nadim and Jill, we always talk about it every single day. We're like, dude, it feels like we're on vacation. Like when we wake up in the morning and we walk the dogs, there's just like, brah, brah. it's like the liveliness of the city. I hear people yelling and screaming in, a, pleasant, <laughs> in, a, in a pleasant way. It smells like piss. There's bums everywhere. And then I, 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 I see people cooking and it's just, it's just very lively and it just feels like Vegas. But I live here and it's also our own. It doesn't have that sterile hotel feeling. Yep. And we got really creative and we got Ikea boxes and all the shit that, we, that used to fit in our bedroom that doesn't fit anymore. We threw under the bed in the boxes so it's neat. That's a tip for all of you people that don't have enough space. Nope. Use the space underneath your bed. We got another furry creature down here. Who doesn't give a shit about us? Cause she ain't moving. Then we have our bathroom. Um, and we have a his and her sink. That's one thing that was kind of like, shit, I wish we had another sink here, but we're doing what we can with the space that we have. This is one thing I didn't get. I don't understand. So we were looking Amongst the few of the buildings we're looking at, we like this one because this is way high up. We're in the 20 plus stories. And <laughs> the way Fawn came in, it was hilarious. It was like she did something wrong, she snuck in. Anyways, before I got distracted by Fawn, um, what I liked about this building, it's, it seemed very luxury, but not overly like flossy, like fucking rap video. It was just like, it's high end, high class. And even out of the spaces that we chose, we're like, you know what, since we're gonna live in LA for a year, let's just spend that extra dollar and get what we really want and get the full LA experience. So we even got a place that's relatively big. I think this place is a little bit over 1,500 square feet, which is pretty big for downtown living. So with all that said, I expected <laughs> right? to have a his and her sink, 
But to have just a sink and it's then space. a fucking cutting board, I'm like, I don't even I don't get it. understand how this is. Like, they could have fucking built some pipes. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, we got a big mirror. That works. So we got a big mirror and we have a big tub. Check this puppy. Oh, the big tub. Oh, the big tub. That we haven't even used yet. But look at that. I'm 5'11 and it fits my big ass. Oh, shit. This, kids, are how babies are made. Yep. All right, sex ed, here you go. Put it in me. All right, here you go. Ready? <laughs> All right, go. And that's, this is called the LP. That's weird. Get it. Ooh, why are you doing that? I'm just kidding. I'm just doing? kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You asshole. Now you gotta get out. It's Hurry all wet over here. Hurry up, baby. Hurry, like Hurry you gotta person. get out. Hurry, baby. You gotta get out. You get wet. Oh, no. Baby, you gotta get out of stop, here. Stop, stop. Okay, fine. I hate you. What the fuck? How am I gonna get up? My whole butt's gonna be yeah, wet. Grab my hand. I'm gonna save you. Oh, you're the worst. I hate you. Why do you hate me? I just saved you. You're the one that put me in danger. <laughs> anyway, well, now to the walk-in closet. Um, and this is, again, another thing that we had to get super creative on. I think it's only one of us that fits in here. But, yeah, we have racks on this side. Racks on racks on racks. Racks on racks on racks. A bunch of shoes that bar... Another theme to this house is that Bart has about a shit. About to talk shit right now. I know, I know, I know. You're about to talk shit. Place. So every God box that it. you've seen here is all Bart shit because he hasn't put anything away. So those, what was it? Right in the right in the front. What? They were all your guns. My gun box. I haven't had time. Oh, that's funny. I have. Um, and then in the living room there was more boxes. Here there's more boxes. That's kind of the theme of my life, actually. But, but before you just scoot these aside, these. Those are the ones! I have sentimental value, so I'll never throw these away. These were the first pair of shoes that I bought to embark on my powerlifting journey. And these are the same shoes that I wore at my first powerlifting meet. So these You know have, what Mexicans do with their the first baby shoes? They toss it over the phone wires? <laughs> no, no, the baby shoes. <laughs> they, <laughs> oh, I don't know. What do they, they put do? it on their they put it on their rear view mirror. Oh okay. So put these on your rear view mirror. This is gonna block my entire view. You have big feet. So this is our closet. Uh, and then this, hold up. <laughs> I put that there on purpose so you guys are surprised when you see the wonderful shower. Er, er, er. One thing I actually like about the Get shower, what I like about what I like about the shower, she's gonna do payback. She's fucking <laughs> vengeful. I already know her. See, right off the bat, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> not today, modifuka. But one thing I like about the shower is there's a light. There's a light, so in the morning. You feel really awake when you're taking a shower there. You didn't even get in there to I shower. I got in there and I closed it. <laughs> God damn it. What was that? What was that? Go. What the hell? All right. Now we're going to uh, the, the baby room. making room. That's the that's where it matters. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to know something fun? What? This is when we didn't get paid. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that was, but that was the last time we went there. Oh. Because the other one, so I kept the leg when we got married, and I had it there, but I remember I moved it. Oh, the kitchen. Like, we don't even give a oh, shit. Oh, we didn't even talk about the kitchen. So yet. you could clearly tell that we don't cook for shit, because we completely skipped this whole section. But tell them about your little cutting board. So uh, what I really like about this counter, and please excuse the crazy emergency police firefighters are going on outside. Um, what I really like about this counter is, first of all, it's really big. And then I learned through my culinary friends that in the cooking world, they actually use the counter. So I always thought you bring out the cutting board and then you put all the little food on there. The, in the culinary world, they prepare all their food on the counter. So if they were to make like four pizzas, this would be squeaky clean and then they would just throw the pizzas on. And then they would make it here and they would like place all their food here. So this is kind of like a way to serve your friends if we if they were yeah. to come. And, and then when really Nadim's cool. not here, I get naked and Bart, like his traditional country, he makes sushi. And then he puts them all over me like this. And then he eats them off me and then we have sex on here. On here, right? Yeah, we get freaky. Yeah. 
It gets really, and then, then, and then sometimes, like right, sometimes when he's sleeping. right when I'm about to bust no, 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 the nut, no, 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 no. when I'm about to bust the nut, I open one of Nadim's meal preps and I give extra sauce and I put it uh, away. Okay, fine. He doesn't <laughs> even know. Oh, one cool thing, because Nadim is Afghan, he showed me this the other day. This is Afghan bread. So this is the he first said this time. this is small. Yeah, this is my, my first time that I've ever seen in my entire life Afghan bread. And he hasn't even eaten. Oh, yeah, there it is. You know what this looks like to me? <laughs> a lufa? No, like the first, the first football armor. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know back when they used to wear just like a leather hat? <laughs> yeah. This is the football armor of like. <laughs> so this is Afghan bread, which is dope. Oh shit. And this part of the fridge was actually very <laughs> sentimental to Are you okay? You're just talking like sorry, a child. <laughs> you want some water? Oh my god. Damn. So this part of the fridge is really sentimental to me because growing up, I would go to my friend's house and they would have water and then ice cubes. I don't know where they're going. They just run up. So growing up, I would go to my friend's house and they would have a water or ice cube dispenser. And when my mom would buy fridges, I would always be like, hey mom, why don't we get one of those ones? And she's like, it's for rich people. We can't afford it. I'm like, oh man, you know your kid, you don't know shit. <coughs> And then, um, as I got older, when I started buying an actual refrigerator, I would go and shop and I'm like, oh shit, my mom was right, this shit is expensive. And since we, everywhere I was moving in my early adulthood, I knew it was gonna be temporary. I don't wanna drop mucho guap on it. <laughs> and when I came here though, I almost shed a tear because I was like, the ice cube dispenser that I always wanted, I finally have, so. It was cute because you went like this, he goes, and he went like this for like a good two minutes. He was petting it. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? He's like, oh, it's Maytag. That shit's for rich people. And then he told me the same story. And I thought it was the cutest. So this, this actually has a lot of sentimental value to me where it's something I've always wanted. <coughs> and I was always told that it wasn't for me. And because I worked hard, we can have ice cube dispenser. There you have it, folks. Stay in school, work hard, pursue those passions, and you will have an ice maker water dispenser built in your fridge. <laughs> All right. God! <laughs> Moving on to Nadim's room. Uh, wait, wait, is there anything? Oh, this we're probably never gonna use. If you grew up from first generation parents, um, this was seriously just to hold, I don't even know how to open this shit. This was just to hold dishes. Like, True. I've had one in the first house that I moved out into. We had one of these and we never used it. We would wash the dishes and we would just use it as a dish rack. Dish rack. And then that was the end of that. And one thing that I was really amazed, because I lived in Asia before. <clears throat> and when you're living in Asia, like you hear all kinds of the street noise and, and noise of the city. But when we moved out here and I came into this room, we were like, oh shit. Like if we don't say shit. Ready? It's dead quiet. Like what you heard was a refrigerator, if you even heard that. Yeah. And it's because of how well everything is insulated. If I were to open this door though, check it out. There's a world of a difference. Hey, what's the big old girl? What's going I'm on? Walking here. Hey, across the street already. You see? There's like all kinds of people, New York Italians just screaming outside. So, you can hear the plane. Oh, you can hear a plane. Well, not close it. And uh, what's really cool too is we have this little balcony patio. Can you please explain that ice cooler thing? We're moving, we're just putting stuff in different places. But if you want to come outside, this is one really cool view actually. <laughs> so this is kind of like an uninterrupted view with no glass or anything and it's, it's really beautiful to just come out here and kind of look at the city. Over there is a USC building, and we just got a bunch of buildings. And as you can see, we are on the 20 plus floor. So we're much taller than most of the buildings in LA. And that is the world famous Ritz Carlton of LA. That thing is very, very tall. Woo. And that thing right over there, not that this video is, oh. Not that this video is sponsored by any means, but 
That Red Bull sign over there was actually hand painted. We saw like eight different artists working on it like for eight hours. They hand painted that. That's amazing and that's quite beautiful. So now we'll head over to Nadim's room. And this is Nadim's room. I'm gonna close the door so it could be quiet. And uh, I think Nadim's still moving in. He has one of his nightstands built, but uh, it's very straightforward. And it's a very, very nice room. And um, Oh, we should have sex on this bed. Why? I don't know, just. All right, we're gonna have sex on this bed. <laughs> he has a view too, but I think he likes putting his shades down. Well, I think because uh, when he's sleeping, this, the sun comes in and probably wakes him up. True. So Nadim has a really cool bathroom too. It's pretty big. And uh, his Look at all that color in. though. Look at that color. What? Wow, it? Nadim. Great job. Let me guess, you picked it out for I him. I did. <laughs> See these things? As you get older, uh, you start to have dad radar. That's how I know I'm ready to be a dad, because I could smell bullshit a mile away. And it wasn't the body that told you that you were ready? No. Oh, because you got that dad bot on lock. I sure do. <laughs> Look at his little curtain. Look how cute this is. Let me guess, you picked that out too. No, it didn't cute though. Who picked this one out? Who cares? Exactly. Oh, I thought it was cute. All right, and keep, and so this, this is pretty much our space. Um, what's also beautiful about the downtown LA city living are the amenities. So if you would like, we can show you guys the fitness center and a sky lounge and also the rooftop deck view, if you would like. Okay, let me put on shoes. All right, so here is the sky lounge that Bart was talking to you guys about. And this is all the really cool amenities and this is all the, the community space. So this is a shared space. So here we can actually rent it, we can host a party or we can just lounge, sit out, look at the beautiful downtown LA views. Look at that, look at how beautiful he looks. Watch the TV that's right behind you. But one of my favorite things and uh, the main reason why I come here every single, what the fuck, every single morning is the complimentary Starbucks cafe. And what's dope is not only do they give you free Starbucks coffee, they give you all the sweeteners, the stirs, they display it very nicely. I mean, they could have just left it in the box, but no, we're classy people. They put in glass faces. Where's Bart now? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Right here, we have our free Starbucks. It's great. And then there's more lounging spaces right over here. If you wanna have a little meeting, a little study area, here it is. What, your internet's down, it's broken? No problem. You can use some of their um, Apple desktop TVs. I mean, uh, computers got you so distracting. <laughs> what? I'm just running around. You're so cute. And then right over here, we have our very own screening room, AKA movie room. Let me just make sure no one's in here. We don't want to disturb anyone watching the movie. So it's going to be hella loud. I think what happened is uh, they probably just cleaned everything and washed the carpet. All those things are fans. But um, we do have our own screening room. First come, first serve. This is really cool. We're definitely going to use this. If we ever screen a JK movie, we can have a JK movie screening party or watch a big UFC fight or something. This is pretty dope. And then we have the executive lounge where you can host your own private little meetings right up in her. Someone left some gluten-free, I don't know, Cereal, that's very nice of them. And if you have a conference call, they have a speaker. Uh, they have this very expensive, I shouldn't even touch it, painting. I heard this thing was sold for $40 million. Did you know that? I doubt it. 
Yeah, me too. I'm just kidding. I made it up. But yeah, so we can host a little business meeting here, have some big ass transactions go down where nobody can hear us. Very private, very quiet. Again, with the amazing view, but what? You get tired of you know what? No problem. Too distracting? Look at this. Look at that. Bam! Problem solved. Beautiful. This is actually the first time I've been in this room. <laughs> me too. Every time I come, someone's using it. Like, someone really... Were you trying to use it? Because for me, I'm just being nosy. I come and I get my coffee in the morning, and I kind of just peek over to see what's going on. Yeah. I'm really curious about the space. Yeah. And I look in, and there's just always someone in there, and so I never go inside. But I don't try time. to use it. I just, I would like to walk in here and see what it's all about. But every time I come, someone's in here. The next space we're gonna go to is my favorite, and I love going to relax there, and I'll probably relax there tonight. Oh yeah. MTV Cribs. You know on MTV We're Cribs, you a tour. the friends just <laughs> randomly show up. This wasn't planned for the video. Sarah was supposed to come over to relax with me, but this <laughs> but is just. But now you gotta like, work. <laughs> the video. Awesome. So welcome. This is our community space. How did space. you know we were gonna be on this floor? The yeah. Guy at the front, he, he's like, who's the last name? I was like, Quan. He goes, oh yeah, they're on the eighth floor. Oh cool. It's like they're filming. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> So right. over here. All right, so you can uh, you can you can listen on in this too. Oh, cool. Over here is my favorite part of this building, and it's the hot tub, and it's really big, so we get to share it with our friends, and that's what I feel like life is about. Is life is about trying to get yourself some very comfortable. Life is about trying to get yourself into some very comfortable, enjoyable moments, but not enjoying it by yourself, but that's sharing boring. it with your friends. Yep. Hell yeah! It's all about the experience. We're all about experiences here. So if you come out here, the first thing you'll notice is the extremely big lounge Vegas style cabana chairs that are very comfortable that we haven't used yet, but we probably will. I just did. I would hella be down like during the weekend if we just want to get some work done on the laptop. Just come out here, you can feel the breeze. It feels really cool. And we Remember still have picture? the view of the Staples Center. What? That picture. What picture? The hand-drawn picture. Oh, shit! <laughs> almost fell down. I think Evan said he almost like literally tripped on this I know, tube. it's scary because we are high, so like everything gets magnified. If you come over here... But you felt like an old guy. You went like this. You went... You went I squatted today. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh. I squatted today. So if you crazy. come over here, we have our jacuzzi. It is very, very warm. Very comfortable. Oh, very. So Look if you that. guys, uh, if you guys follow me on my vlogs, one of my favorite things to do is to go to a ginger bun, which is like a spa, and they have hot tubs and showers and pools and stuff in there. And because it is kind of a pain in the ass to go from the JK office to drive over there, and you have to pay like 15, 20 bucks every time, I was like, man, this is a waste of money. So when we get a building in downtown, it's really important for me to find a place with the hot tub. So I could save myself that trip, save that time, and bam, bam, we got one right here. Bam. And you don't have to talk to people when you're naked. Exactly. <laughs> and another really cool amenity is this grill that we haven't been able to use yet. <laughs> Everyone's always using this too. This friends on the chair. But we will, and it's a huge grill. State of the art. State and we can steel. entertain people. And this is pretty much a normal day around oh, here. There's all these amenities and no one's using them. And we have <laughs> hundreds of, and the coffee still persists. There's hundreds of people here and it's always empty, which is so cool. Like I feel like this whole building is ours all the time. Yeah. Last but not least, we'll show you the fitness room. So with a lot of the with a lot of the oh, amenities yeah. here, 
you have to gain access, which is really cool, so you don't have weirdos just coming around and peeking at you, doing naked stuff. Zero. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so you have your treadmills, your stationary bikes, your elliptical machines, your lap cool down, your Smith machine. This gym is actually really big for a built-in like hotel type gym. I was really surprised when we got the tour. I was like, holy shit, we got three treadmills, three ellipticals, three spin bikes. And it's big enough where a lot of people hire their personal trainers to come and coach them out here. Yeah, it's smart. What's a punching post? I don't know that thing right there. I don't know, that's the first time I've ever seen it. Me too, boy. That's what we call it a punching pose. What's also dope is if you practice yoga or you want to stretch outside, you can. Because they have this beautiful sliding door to the back. It's a lounge area with a fire pit and the view of all these beautiful buildings. So this is pretty much it. This is our new home for the rest of 2016 and half of 2017, half of 2017. and um, this was all just made this was this was all just a decision made on a whim based off of a hanging with JK yeah it's Are up we, like if you want to hang out if you want to what was it would you rather live in a city would you or rather a be a rural, rural or a area. city person yeah and then I think everyone in JK was like dude we're super rural we want to be in the suburbs we want to be in Hawaii actually and then when we started driving away from the shoot, me and Gio started talking. And no, like, for me, in the video, I was just like, yeah, you stay more current with trends. You know, like, you're in the know of things. And then I was just like, wait, I have nothing bad to say about it. And then in the car is when that Then know. in the car, we're like, wait, why don't we live in the city? Especially since, you know, in L.A., I think it's every early 20s person's dream to live in downtown. But it's just so expensive. It's not affordable unless... You're like a 19 year old millionaire, or you're, I don't know, you just hit like the jackpot. You got a really, really cool job. And so for us, because we want to have kids and settle down later on, we're like, let's get out of our system, live in downtown LA for a year, treat yep. it as if we're traveling to Paris and living there for a year, except it's LA. And uh, I'm just happy that we're able to share this experience with you guys. So for the next year, you will be experiencing our vlogs in downtown LA like you guys are living here. Yeah! I'm so excited to share this next journey with all of you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.